Welcome to another informative video from Canada IT Club. Many job seekers contact us for assistance and guidance in their job search in Canada. We've noticed that many of them repeatedly make the same mistakes, which hinder their chances of being selected. This podcast is dedicated to helping job seekers correct these errors and enhance their profiles. This is specifically for job seekers who are currently in Canada and authorized to work here. Mistake number one, lack of an impressive resume. The most common and significant mistake job seekers make is with their resumes. Over 50% of the resumes I review have issues that can lead to immediate rejection. It's crucial to address these issues before applying for jobs. We have a dedicated video on fixing resumes, please watch it and update your resume accordingly. This will greatly aid your job search. Even with a strong referral, 90% of candidates get rejected due to resume issues. Mistake number two, not upgrading skills during job search. Another common issue is the need to upgrade your skills. It's not just about the skills you currently have, but the skills that are in demand in the market. After working for several years at the same company, many of us may lose touch with the latest tools and technologies. When we eventually start job hunting, our skill sets may not align with market requirements, leading to application rejections. Therefore, it's crucial to ensure your skill set matches the current market demand. Mistake number three, no job search strategy. When searching for a job in Canada, especially if it's your first job, ensure you have a foolproof job search strategy. Simply applying through job portals and expecting to get a job might be unrealistic due to the high volume of applicants. Therefore, you need to develop a strategy that will help you secure a job within two to three months. Mistake number four, no mentor. Job searching in Canada can be challenging. To successfully navigate this journey, having a mentor can be invaluable. A mentor provides support and guidance, helping you avoid common mistakes that many job seekers make. Even with support from friends and family, you might not receive the specific job search advice you need. Mentors can identify your errors, suggest fixes, and guide you towards success. Personally, having a mentor was a great help during my job search a few years ago. Therefore, I highly recommend finding a mentor, even if you are highly experienced. Mistake number five, not understanding how the market works. I have observed that many people struggle to understand how the market operates. As a new immigrant, it is crucial to grasp how the IT market functions in Canada, as this knowledge is invaluable during your job search. Even those migrating from the US often face difficulty securing jobs due to a lack of understanding of the Canadian IT market. The Canadian market operates differently from the US, UK, or India. We have a dedicated podcast that explains the end-to-end job search process in Canada. Please make sure to watch it. Mistake number six, not doing focused job search. Not conducting a focused job search can lead to inefficiency and wasted effort. It's essential to target specific industries, roles, and companies that align with your skills, experience, and career goals to maximize your chances of success. Mistake number seven, applying for jobs which doesn't match your profile. I've heard from many candidates that they've applied for hundreds of jobs without any success, receiving no responses despite numerous applications. Often, job seekers apply for positions that don't match their profiles or lack the required skill sets. Some jobs require specific skills or domain knowledge. For example, a business analyst role in capital markets will need a candidate with substantial knowledge in that domain. Therefore, a generic business analyst without this expertise may not be a suitable fit. Similarly, someone applying for both Quality Assurance Lead and Scrum Master positions might not be successful. Mistake number eight, having generic designation as job role. Many job seekers in Canada make the mistake of confusing job titles with roles. They often list their designations on their resumes and LinkedIn profiles instead of their actual roles. For instance, it's more effective to specify Java developer or .NET developer rather than just software engineer. Since designations vary across companies, it is beneficial to mention the specific role you are targeting in your job search. Mistake number nine, mismatch between LinkedIn and Resume. As previously mentioned, LinkedIn is a crucial social platform for building your career in Canada. It's essential to have an impressive LinkedIn profile and resume to secure a job. In some cases, discrepancies between the data in resumes and LinkedIn profiles have been observed. Therefore, it's important to ensure consistency between your LinkedIn profile and resume. Mistake number 10, fake experience in resume. Presenting false experience might appear as a quick fix to secure a job, yet it isn't a sustainable approach in the long run. Recruiters and hiring managers review numerous resumes daily, making it easier for them to identify fabricated experience and companies. If they detect false information in your profile, it could lead to rejection. Hence, it's crucial to refrain from using fake experience when applying for jobs. Mistake number 11, wrong way to approach a person. Do you send vague messages to strangers? Approaching someone in the wrong manner can create a negative impression and hinder effective communication. It's essential to be respectful, considerate, and mindful of the other person's boundaries and preferences. 
Avoid being overly aggressive, intrusive, or disrespectful in your approach, and strive to establish rapport and mutual respect from the outset. Mistake number 12, asking referral to total strangers. Asking for referrals from total strangers can often come across as insincere and may not yield the desired results. It's more effective to nurture existing relationships and seek referrals from individuals who are familiar with your work. Consider engaging with professionals in your industry through networking events, online communities, or mutual connections to establish rapport before requesting a referral. Remember that referrals are based on trust and credibility, so it's important to approach individuals who are likely to provide a genuine and positive recommendation. Mistake number 13, sending emails without proper context. Sending emails without proper context can lead to misunderstandings and lack of clarity in communication. It's important to provide your introduction, sufficient background information and context in your emails to ensure your message is understood effectively. Avoiding ambiguity and clearly articulating your purpose can enhance the effectiveness of your communication. Mistake number 14, doing a course to get job. While certifications and courses contribute to career growth, their impact on job acquisition may be limited. Many jobs prioritize hands-on experience over certifications. If you excel in performing the required tasks, that often suffices. However, in some instances, certifications are mandatory, such as PMP for project manager roles. Mistake number 15, no work authorization. Are you attempting to apply for jobs without proper work authorization? Are you applying for positions while residing outside of Canada? If you lack authorization to work in Canada, your chances of securing employment are slim. Employers are unable to process payroll for individuals without proper work authorization. Without authorization, applying for jobs serves no practical purpose. Avoiding these mistakes can actually lead to improvement in your chances of securing a job within Canada. We will share more informational podcasts in the upcoming days. Please watch out this space for more.